Um, mashallah, and Sister Roberta is joining us, inshallah, today for to take her shahada and to join, inshallah, the faith officially, inshallah ta'ala. Roberta, before we do so, we always ask uh, folks to kind of tell us a little bit about themselves and about their journey, if they're willing, about the story kind of of how you ended up here tonight with all of us sisters here as part of this new family. We'd love to learn more about you, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> um, so I married uh, my husband who is Jordanian. Um, I was raised Catholic, you know, we got married. I have been to Jordan um, three times. So I had um, the great opportunity to be in Jordan and see Muslims, you know, not like, you know, in the West, but like there in their, you know, own environment. Um, experience the, the call for, you know, call to the prayer and just, you know, like, it's like, you know, nowadays here they say like, oh, you know, when you are stressed out, you know, why don't you go, go on your Calm app and take 10 minutes, you know, to calm down. And then, you know, the more I learned about Islam, I was like, oh, that's the Calm app that God already programmed for us five times a day. SubhanAllah. <laughs> SubhanAllah. Um, but after, uh, you know, these experiences, I started getting more and more interested in Islam. And I, I bought uh, my friend, my co-worker, gave me a, a few books. Um, I bought the clear Quran. I already took some basic Arabic classes. Well, <laughs> I still have to, to do it all over again. <laughs> um, so I, I, I started getting more and more interested in, in Islam and um, just, just learning more. And then I think also with the pandemic, being alone, and um, it's just like it brings you a lot of reflection. Uh, I, I don't have any family in the in the Bay Area. My brother is in Brazil. I'm originally from Brazil. Um, so it's just like it brings you even closer to God because you're thinking about what's going on in the world. Why is this happening? And I just I just feel like now even more because the the, the world seems to be like so crazy. I feel like now more and more I need an anchor, something that's gonna you know guide me and keep me strong because I mean we we know we we live in California bubble um, and sometimes it's just like too much um, but it's I think it's it's the idea of you know finding the anchor um, to you know just just live your best life you know um, and how did I end up here well in the process of learning about Islam I have been watching you know, different YouTube uh, videos, and, and then including videos with Dr. Rania. And I was like, oh, they're in California. Are they in the Bay Area? And I was like, oh, yeah, she's in the Bay Area. Um, and that's how I found, uh, I found the MCC. And um, I contacted them, and I said, you know, I'm interested in going to the lecture, but I'm not a Muslim yet. And then uh, Sister Liz, uh, said, you know, just just come on over, and if you're ready to take your shahada, you know, we'll, we'll do it for you. Um, and then the process of, you know, the decision, like, okay, let's just do this, because when I watch uh, revert stories, I see a lot of people always say, like, oh, you're never 100% ready, because this is a journey. You're not going to change everything, start doing everything overnight. So I just started asking myself like in the last two weeks like should I stay or should I go um, I was like you know I, 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 I cannot be overthinking this this is something that, that's gonna be great for me I'm doing something wonderful like why should I be overthink you know I'm not doing anything wrong it's something that's gonna benefit me and and all I want is to have peace in my heart you know mm -hmm. and feeling that I have this anchor not feeling completely alone. Because, you know, when you don't have your parents anymore, it's just like it puts you in a different perspective. Um, and I think that's, that's how I, I ended up here. And, uh, I, of course, um, my family in Jordan, my husband, you know, uh, my, uh, my mother-in-law, my, my in-laws, and 
my sisters-in-law, they never ask me like, oh, when are you going to convert? Why don't you, you know, why don't you do it? Like, they never forced me to do, they never tried to convince me to do anything. Mm -hmm. And I just thought like, wow, this is, this is really amazing. Like the, the, this religious, you know, perspective in terms of, you know, respecting the other person's uh, faith. And um, yes, and then the desire also to find a community. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I think I, <laughs> and then can I say one more thing? Sorry. Um, the, you know, like the hesitation when I was thinking like, okay, do I do this now or later? I think it's also, also hearing from other reverts is um, what, what will my family think about this? What are my friends, you know, I'm, am I going to lose friends because now, you know, uh, are people gonna be telling me like, oh, I bet your husband, you know, brainwashed you to do that. So I, I am like, um, you know, but, um, because I, I don't have any questions about the faith. It's more like sure. the outside that, you know, but I, I think like, I, I, I don't have, I cannot be, you know, afraid of that. I think it's just like, if I have friends, I think the real friends will stay, they will understand, they will respect. The ones that don't understand, you know, I just wish them salam. <laughs> um, yeah, and thank you for uh, listening and thank you for this opportunity. But I, I think we should all redo our shahadas together, like as a group. Of course, we'll do this together, word by word together. But then we'll have a chance for everyone to do this again, inshallah ta'ala. Are we ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. And yes, I heard everything about the hesitation and about the thinking through and the so on. But you're absolutely right that there isn't a perfect time. And actually, the perfect time is Allah ordained it. The qadr, the fate is that it's today, right now. So this will be the right, or the right time, inshallah ta'ala. Yes. All right. Here we go. Bismillah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to say the Arabic words, inshallah, and we'll kind of do them piece by piece, and then we'll do the English, and then we'll do the group one. How does that sound? Sounds good. All right. Bismillah. And ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Washhadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Rasulullah Rasulullah Shallah Allah Akbar Allah bless you, increase you. We'll do the English inshallah. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God. That there is no God except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that Muhammad. That Muhammad is his prophet and messenger. Is his prophet and messenger. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. All right, sisters, we're going to do this all together. Ready? Ashhadu Allah ilaha. Illallah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Welcome, Sister Roberta, to Islam and to our community and to MCC and to the women's group here and to the Halakha. We're so happy to have you and I hope you'll be with us and fixture here all the time, inshallah ta'ala. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank and this is where all the hugs start happening. <laughs> Mine is first. <laughs>